AMP Falmouth on the south coast of the UK, part of the AMP group that also includes the world-renowned Tyne and Tees facilities, boasts over 150 years of heritage in ship repair and conversion. Conforming to the International Ships and Port Security Code and certified to ISO standards 9001 for quality management systems, 14001 for environmental management and 18001 for occupational health and safety, ANP has the capacity to resource, facilitate and manage the most complex of engineering projects. With a focus on both specialist skills and adaptability, AMP's ability to take on the most challenging of projects has underlined a reputation not only in ship repair, but also in the ever-growing marine renewable energy sector. The Seajax Leviathan and Seajax Kraken are two of the most sophisticated, self-propelled jack-up vessels in operation. Both ships are used for the installation and maintenance of offshore wind turbines, as well as the servicing of oil and gas platforms. Through stiff competition and a rigorous tendering process, ANP was successfully awarded a major contract for the remobilization of the Kraken and Leviathan simultaneously. The project involves constructing and then installing two giant 100-tonne wind turbine blade racks, as well as the two 50-tonne bases to which wind turbine towers will be fastened during transportation. With a very short lead time of just nine weeks, the pressure's on to plan, procure materials and manufacture these complex structures before the Leviathan and Kraken arrive. Strategic planning for all operations at AMP Falmouth is paramount, and one of the first priorities is to prepare two perfectly level sites for the construction process, one at the head of Number 3 Dock and another on the floor of the Panamax Queen Elizabeth Dry Dock, 40 metres wide and the largest on the south coast of England. With bespoke jigs in place, construction can get underway. Precisely engineered and built to the highest standards, the blade racks undergo rigorous testing with both internal inspections and external customer audits carried out. Dimensions are checked and confirmed against construction drawings, while all welds are visually examined and non-destructive ultrasonic tests are performed. With both ships arriving in port for demobilisation, which includes the removal of redundant blade racks, the dry dock is laid out with precisely positioned blocks to take the legs of the rigs. It's on these that the Kraken and Leviathan will jack themselves up to the necessary height for the rest of the project. The positioning of each vessel in dry dock is executed with perfect precision, each ship being laser aligned into place exactly above the submerged blocks. With 28 million gallons of water pumped out in just a few hours, mobilisation is ready to get underway. At the same time, important general dry docking work is performed. Surfaces are cleaned, prepared and painted, while the asthma thrusters are removed for a thorough overhaul. And then it's time to start the painstaking operation of installing the newly manufactured blade racks themselves.
With works completed, the final stage of the meticulously planned project is to refloat both sea jacks and carefully guide them out of dock. On schedule for the perfect tide and calculated to within millimetres. After 60,000 man-hours of work and tight deadlines met, both the Sea Jacks Kraken and Leviathan leave port. Another successful project for AMP Falmouth, with a glowing testimonial from the customer.